Hey guys, uh, for this video today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different from what I usually do. Um, for this video today, I'm going to share my thoughts on a few teams in Major League Baseball that have got some new uniforms for this current 2019 Major League Baseball season as I'm filming this. But on top of that, I'm also going to spend some time in this video sharing my thoughts on the Arizona Diamondbacks relatively new uniforms that they unveiled about two or three years ago uh, back in either 2016 or 2017 as I'm filming this right now offhand I'm not I can't remember when they unveiled them but they've had them for at least a couple of years now and truth is I've really wanted to do a video to share my thoughts on them for a while now so I'm going to use this video as my opportunity to finally share my thoughts about them for a video on this channel so I'm going to talk about the Diamondbacks first, but also I'm going to share my thoughts on new uniforms unveiled by the Cleveland Indians, the Minnesota Twins, and the Miami Marlins uh, as well. So with let's start with the Arizona Diamondbacks. And in this video here, I, I really want to talk about the Diamondbacks, and they're interesting because... Their new uniforms, or relatively new uniforms as I'm filming this in 2019, are the most ultra-modern design in Major League Baseball right now. And with Nike coming in to take over the uniforms from Majestic next year in 2020, I'm sure that the Diamondbacks will not be the only team with an ultra-modern uniform set for long. And... Truth is, I'm not sure if that's going to be a good thing because in my personal opinion, I'm not sure if everyone's going to agree with me on this, but a lot of Nike redesigns that I've seen, especially in the NFL and in college sports, have not been good. Nike seems to have this thing for going with ultra-modern uniform designs and I find that instead of taking the time to create nice uniforms, in my opinion... I find that they tend to go with more ultra-modern stuff that ends up getting changed as soon as teams can change them because they're not very good. Like, for example, so far since Nike's been in the NFL since 2012, there's most redesigns I have not been a fan of in the National Football League. I mean, in Seattle's case, as much as I'm not a big lover of their current uniforms, I do got to say, I do, I've do. i always felt that they were they have been better than the uniforms they replaced when Nike took over. Even though I would gladly, and truth is, I don't totally dislike them. I think they're actually okay. But I would like to see the Seattle Seahawks one day at least bring back an 80s royal blue throwback. Because I love those uniforms. And honestly, I think they're far superior from anything they've ever worn ever since. Because I know they wore royal blue up until about 2001, I believe. Then they switched to the darker metallic blue. And then they've had the navy blue collegiate looking uniforms in the Nike era ever since but then another team that upgraded their uniforms in the Nike era is the Minnesota Vikings in my opinion they've gone with something a little bit more traditional better than the Reebok uniforms that's for sure but I don't like the serif numbers I wish they would just have simple block numbers even that by itself would be a huge upgrade for their uniforms in my opinion and, you know, when you look at other redesigns, you look at the Jacksonville Jaguars redesign from 2013. I mean, they just redesigned them and really simplified their uniforms because they were so damn bad. And even now, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they, in my opinion, have the worst uniforms in the entire National Football League. Other teams, like the Cleveland Browns, they went from having really nice, simple, traditional uniforms to having these really ugly, collegiate-looking uniforms. And it's just like, why? Just so you can sell more jerseys? I These redesigns, most of them, in my opinion, have sucked. I'm not a big fan of the Detroit Lions' new uniforms. I certainly do not care for the Tennessee Titans' new uniforms. I don't. And, you know, also other teams, I'm trying to think of the New York Jets' brand new uniforms they're going to wear next season. I don't like them. I like that they're not wearing the Hunter Green anymore. That's a plus. But... You know, they, they don't even have a jet in their logo, for Christ's sake. It's just bad. And, you know, overall, I have just not been a fan of the redesigns that I've seen. And even the Jaguars' new uniforms, they're better than what they've replaced. But I still don't like them. At all. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. 
Uh, they're okay, but I think they're a bit too plain. And I really don't like how their away uniform is sometimes all monochrome white and black with barely any teal. No teal on the numbers at all. And it's like, why? I mean, if they even just had teal numbers on their away uniform, their redesign would be that much better. But, you know, so far, what I'm trying to get at is, is that so far, I've not been a fan of the uniform redesigns I've seen in Nike in the National Football League. And so far, in the NBA era, I mean, they've they've done some uniform tweaks that have been all right. Like, I like the Lakers' updated golden yellow uniforms. They don't just have home and away classifications anymore in the NBA, which is a total joke in my opinion. But they made the Lakers uniform or golden yellow uniform a lot better. I like it far more than I liked it than I've liked it in the past 10 years from what I've seen. But then you see other teams like even the Toronto Raptors, they've cleaned up their main red, white, and black uniforms, and they do look a little bit better now in the Nike era, minus the advertisements, of course. And there are some tweaks they've done there that have been okay, but I hate seeing all these new uniforms every year for every team, like these new alternate designs that change every year. Most of them I do not care for. But I will say this, for anybody curious, I do think the Miami Vice Heat uniforms are have been really good for the most part. I... For me, I'm not a big fan of, of the idea of a pink jersey, but I do tip my hat to them for being creative. But I will say this, the Miami Vice-inspired uniforms have been pretty good for the most part, even though I would, I would personally pass on the pink one. But anyways, that's of course a matter of personal opinion. And if you do like it, I mean, all the power to you. I mean, I can't expect everybody to agree with me on everything, but to each their own. But for me, I just, I'm not a fan of that. But now talking about Major League Baseball, with the Arizona Diamondbacks, I mean, their new uniforms are very ultra-modern. And I tip my hat to them for the creativity, but they're not very good. I don't like them. And I also don't like the fact that there is still another black and red team in Major League Baseball. I mean, I, I really think that they're... I believe that their original color scheme of purple and teal was really good. It was something different. I mean, they're, I tip my hat to them as well for the really, really dark gray road uniforms. I mean, that's kind of cool. But, you know, I'm not a big fan of the snakeskin gradient design. I mean, their home, their main home uniform, I don't like it. Their dark gray uniform, not a big fan of it. However, they have a dark gray alternate with teal on it that should just be their main away uniform. Because... I like the fact that the Diamondbacks have some uniforms that have teal in them because it's unique. And baseball, in my opinion, is desperately lacking some unique color schemes. That's why I'm honestly ecstatic about the San Diego Padres going to chocolate brown and gold starting next year full time. It's about time a team decided to be unique again or try something different. And the thing is, the Diamondbacks also, I believe, have a white alternate that's got some teal on it too. I think that's much better than the snakeskin gradient heavy home uniform they've got now. I do not like their black jersey. I do not like their red jersey. And, you know, their throwback's okay. I, I, I like that better than their white jerseys they've got now. But I gotta say, you know, I'm not a fan of what the Diamondbacks have done. I mean, it's creative, it's definitely unique, but I don't know if it's creative and unique for all the right reasons. I mean, at least they've got a white jersey and a, a white uniform and a gray uniform, sorry, that do have some teal on them. That's the direction they need to go with. Not sticking with just red and black and sand, or beige, or whatever you want to call it. That's Where's the creativity in that? When so many other teams either wear red or black. More red than black, but still... Red is so overused in baseball. Same with navy blue. I mean, the snakeskin design and the dark, dark gray away uniform design is unique. And it's cool that they've tried something different. But the execution, in my opinion, is not very good. Now, moving on to the Minnesota Twins. Their new navy blue alternate. I'm tired of so many teams having navy blue uniforms in baseball. But the Twins' new navy blue alternate, I really like it. 
It's got red and gold accents on it, and it's got the Retro Twins word mark, which I like better than their longtime one they've had since, I believe, the 80s. I like that script, the Retro script, better. And for a navy blue uniform, I really like it. It's something different. And another uniform that the Twins have that I'll mention, too, that I really have liked is their red alternate with the TC logo, the interlocking TC logo um, on the left side of the chest the interlocking TC to represent twin for Twin Cities. I actually really like that alternate uniform as well. And I think the Twins have done a pretty good job with those. I, I actually like the addition of gold as well. It's something different too, eh? Um, then moving on, I want to now move on and talk about the Cleveland Indians a little bit. I feel that their new navy blue uniform is far too similar to the, what the Boston Red Sox have had. And I really do not like it. I think it's incredibly boring. And I don't know why they didn't just leave their navy blue uniform from the past bunch of years alone. It's better than what it's been replaced with. And, I mean, that uniform, I really do not like it. It's super boring. And it's, in my opinion, a ripoff of the Red Sox. Now, as for their new red alternate... I know it's a another team, yet another team with a red jersey, but you know what? It's an alternate uniform that I think is going to look pretty good during the season. And I think if you're an Indians fan, I think most Indians fans will be happy to see their team with a different colored alternate. And I definitely think it's cool that they've got a red jersey. I actually like the design. So that that's a plus. But their new navy blue uniform, not so much. That one sucks, in my opinion. Matter of personal opinion, of course. So I've talked about the Diamondbacks. I've talked about the um, Twins. And I even remembered their red alternate, which I was only going to talk about their Navy alternate. But I'm glad I'm still... I talked about the red one as well, because that's a really nice jersey, in my opinion, to wear once in a while. And now, of course, I've talked about the Indians. I like their new red alternate. I hate their new Navy blue alternate. Now, finally, the one team that really disappoints me the most, the Miami Marlins. They're the worst redesign of all, in my opinion. I mean, they're white and gray jerseys. I, the new script is okay. I don't mind it. And I also do think that their new logo is actually relatively decent. But the Marlins, it's, you know, when they were the, the Florida Marlins, they had teal. A teal heavy identity and that was really cool they had something different and now they've you know when they rebranded as the Miami Marlins they had an orange jersey and they had a lighter blue jersey that I don't think it got used very much which they should have used it more and their identity was so boring they were just another team with a white jersey and a black jersey and the orange jersey was okay but for the Miami Marlins, I've always found that orange was kind of weird. But as for their new white and gray jerseys, the new word mark's okay. I do like the new word mark better than what is replaced, to be honest. Um, but I've got to say, I mean, their new logo, I, I don't mind it either, but I'm so tired of the Marlins having black. I'm being honest here. I am really tired of the Marlins having black. They're from Florida. And I, you know, for a team in Florida, I wouldn't mind seeing them be more bold and try a more tropical color scheme without black. I mean, do something different like teal and royal blue. Where royal blue is just an accent color and they wear a teal jersey. Something different that's unique. They're just another team that has a white jersey and a gray jersey and a black jersey. And, you know, I got to say, I am not a fan of their redesign as a whole. There's things I like about it better than what they what their old uniforms were, but I still don't love it. I mean, their new black alternate, in my opinion, is pure garbage. It's a black word mark on a black jersey. Black numbers and black, I believe, black letters on a black jersey. And honestly, it's just bad. I mean, the, Mi the Miami Marlins' only saving grace, in my opinion, is their turquoise, turquoise slash powder blue alternate uniform. And I'm not even, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's an alternate uniform, but it may even just be a, a spring training uniform, which I really hope is not the case. Because it's the only uniform 
in their new uniform set, in my opinion, that has any real creativity or decency in it. I mean, their current uniforms, their new ones now are so plain. It's like, instead of the black alternate, why not have that turquoise, a turquoise colored alternate jersey that says Miami on the front in black writing? Instead of this black jersey that has a black word mark on the front, black numbers, it's terrible. I mean, the, Mar the Marlins have a chance to do something so unique, and they just, it's like they're afraid of being different. It's frustrating. I really don't like it. I really don't like it. And their new uniforms, in my opinion, suck. I mean, at least their turquoise colored one is kind of decent. But their, their identity is so bland. They need to go back to the drawing board and get rid of black. Like, I'd like to see a color scheme of, like, say, teal and royal blue or even navy blue. But instead of having a navy blue jersey, just keep it as an accent. Like, just leave it to only being a small minor accent on the uniform. That's it. Hell, I'd even be fine with teal and black. Just as long as there isn't a huge... Uh, or a huge amount of black in the total identity. Just use black as an accent. But seriously, I'm just really tired of the Mar the Marlins' lack of an, of good uniforms. I mean, even their original identity had teal. I mean, teal's unique. I'm tired of teams just being, you know, unwilling to be different. Either just having navy blue uniforms or black uniforms as their colored uniforms, or even royal blue is overused in Major League Baseball. So I would really like to see, I would really like to see the Marlins go with teal or even that turquoise blue with something different as an accent color. Like just do something different. I mean, their new uniforms are just so bad. I mean, their white and gray ones are tolerable. But their black ones just so bad. And their white and gray ones, in my opinion, are void of any real unique identity, which is a shame. Honestly, I mean, if it were me, I'd like to at least see the Marlins go with teal and make that their main color. With an accent like even, hell, even a shade of blue. But don't have a blue jersey that you wear all the time. Just keep it as an accent color on your uniforms. A subtle accent that complements the uniform. And then, if you're going to wear a colored jersey, wear teal. And only teal. Something that's unique from the rest of the league. But seriously, the Marlins are such a disappointment, in my opinion. And it's a shame. Because, in my opinion, they could be so much better. I mean, they could even go with, like, a tropical green. Or something. Or even Kelly green, for Christ's sake. Something that's unique and different. I mean, I think teal works the best, but because they were originally teal as the Florida Marlins, eh? But, you know, they've got to do something different. I can't say it enough. But anyways, you guys, um, that's it for this video and my thoughts on those teams. And I'm really glad that I did take some time to talk about the Diamondbacks because I've really wanted to talk about them for quite a while now. But anyways, you guys, I will be calling it a wrap on this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And... As for the uh, Atlanta Braves, which are one noticeable omission from my video, I am planning on doing a separate video for them because I've had the pictures on my computer ready to go for the past few weeks. So that's why they're going to be talked about in a separate video. But anyways, you guys have been talking for almost 20 minutes. I'm going to call it a wrap. I'd love to hear how you guys feel about these uniform changes that I've mentioned here regarding the Diamondbacks, the Twins, the Indians, and of course, the Miami Marlins. And with that, you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And of course, folks, until my next video, as always, take care. And of course, as usual, everyone, bye for now.